is your girl, Miss Debs. We're doing our continuation on the Bible in 52 Weeks for Women. How you guys been? I hope everybody's been good. Um, it's been kind of hectic for your girl, but today we're not going to talk about that. I'll let you know um, what's going on with me. Um, Thursday, I have an appointment to go see. Um, I went to go see the orthopedic yesterday. Um, Thursday, I have an appointment to get an MRI. So I'll let you guys know what's going on after that. I'll tell you everything that I'm going through and what my decision was, what was, you know, given to me to weigh my pros and cons, and you'll get that information. I'm coming back on Friday. But I'm doing this, uh, the 52 weeks, um, the Bible in 52 weeks for women. I'm doing this one day early at this time. But I'm not going to put it out until Wednesday. But I got a lot to do, so I just wanted to do it now to get it out the way. But I still won't present it until Wednesday. Okay, if anybody remember, last week we were talking about Joe. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. I'm hanging in there. Um, wish things were different, but it is what it is. So um, things have to be done, and I have to do it. Okay, so this is the Bible in 52 Weeks for Women. Last week we were talking about Joe. Okay, this is week 29. We have to know. Daily reading, day 1, Job 22, 24, day 2, day 25, 28, I mean Job 25, 28, day 3, Job 29, 31, Job 4, 32, 35, day 5, Job 36, 39, day 6, Job 40, 42, day 7, catch up on any reading you might have missed. Last week we started a discussion about the life of Job. Chapters 1 and 2 tells us of his trials. During his time of suffering, he experienced silence from God. From chapter 2 to chapter 37, Job heard, hears nothing from God. Throughout those chapters, he criti he's criticized by friends he thought he could count on. Who believe he must have done something evil to deserve all this? Sometimes throughout those chapters, he wishes he was dead. But he endures the process until finally God speaks to him, illustrating his power by recounting creations to Job, reminding Job of who he is and what Job doesn't know about him. In the last chapter of the book, Job changes his mind about some things. Because of the experiences he had and because of God's word, Job knows it's time to come clean with God. At this point, he's been suffering for a while, and he wants to make sure his life truly is lining up with God. He desperately needs his life to change, so he decides to change his posture to one of repentance. No longer will he just feel sorry for himself or be angry about his situation. Now he will occupy a position of humility and repentance. In Job 42, 5, 6, Job says, I had only heard about you before, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. I take back everything I said, and I sit in dust and ashes to show my repentance. Job made assumptions and said things he shouldn't have. Several times he wished he was never born, and he even went as far as wanting to take God to court to plead his case. However, he had to repent because he realized he allowed others to affect his beliefs about and response to God. He was basically saying, I really didn't know how seraphim you are, but now I know. I didn't really know you to be a keeper in spite of the struggles, but now I know. I didn't really know you could bless me beyond my circumstances, but now I know. We can't afford to base our lives on what others have to say. We simply have to know who's in control of our lives. And you have to know that God's word is still true. His word cannot come back to him void. It doesn't matter if he said it 10 years ago. God's got to do what he said. And you've got to know that God is behind the scenes right now, preparing those things that have been stored up for you. Even if you've lost everything like Job, it may not fully make sense, but there are just some things you have to know. Points to ponder. After Job's testing, he went through a season of silence. Have you ever experienced the silence of God, and how did you handle it? Number two, struggles can cloud our thoughts. Has there ever been a time when you trusted what others had to say rather than what God has already said? Three, 
What do you know about God that no one can ever change your mind about? Further thoughts for the week were coming down to the wire. Even after all Job's suffering, it's clear that God said God still had a plan for his prosperity. When Job repented, Job restored him. God restored him and gave him twice as much as he had before. In fact, the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life, even more than the beginning. Job lived 140 years after his restoration. God blessed him to see four generations of children and grandchildren. He died having a he died and lived a meaningful life. Thank you for joining this session. God bless you. I hope it has been a light to some.